Hi, today we're heading off down to Curtis Falls. Uh, last time I came up to Tambourine, um, over to this side anyhow, um, I went down to the river. That's where I dropped my video camera in the water, um, which by the way has, has recovered uh, a bag of rice in the car windscreen on a sunny day, uh, did the job. The reason I came up here was because it's quite sheltered and it is blowing quite a gale everybody out everywhere else but this is actually down in a bit of a in a bit of a valley on top of the mountain um, so it's quite sheltered so obviously because I haven't got a proper microphone set up here it works a treat down here just to give you better sound quality um, so I'm gonna head off down there there's been a few breaks in the cloud as well it's very overcast today I get some nice shards of light coming through the trees uh, I've been up here before and the the sun sets over to the right hand side of the falls so I'm really hoping we get some nice light coming all the way down through. Basically that's the waterfall I'm interested in photographing. Right, the reason I've climbed out onto the rocks is, is simply because I wanted to take a shot straight up the waterfall. Um, usually from the viewing platform, there's a viewing platform just over here. Uh, you sort of get a bit of a side angle view to it, which is nice, there's nothing wrong with that. Um, but what I wanted to do is, uh, I wanted to, like I said, shoot straight up uh, the waterfall, have the water crashing down onto the rocks down below, and get as much of the pool in the, in the foreground as possible. So, uh, this is going to be a portrait shot as well. So I've got the camera all set up, I'm just going to have a look at the settings now. I'm going to try and get a shutter for around about sort of five seconds. So um, the sun is coming over, we should have a break in the clouds in a minute. Um, hopefully we'll get some shards of light through, but I really don't want to speed that, that shutter speed up too much. I want to keep it relatively low. And this is the setup. So we've got the tripod just down here, just, in the, uh, just on the rocks again. Over here, again, I've got a nice um, place just from the camera bag and my other camera, which survived. So I'll just talk you through my camera settings quickly. I'm shooting fully manual. Um, F11, uh, around about two second exposure currently. I want to get it down as much as possible towards a five second exposure just to really get a nice sort of glossy feel to the water. Um, I've zoomed in to 50 mil and uh, obviously that's on a DX as well so I'm not sure the conversion of that, about 70, 75 mil. setting the camera up using my spirit level. I've just got it as flat as possible. I'm going to try um, to also just, just pan the shot around. Uh, I'd like to uh, stitching it together. It's, a, it's in a nice kind of cove area, um, the waterfall is, so I'd like to try and convey that in, in some manner. So I thought the best thing to do was to maybe come off the, the edge of the frame just over here where you can see there's a really, really tall straight tree which is uh, which is a farm of some description, uh, which looks like a lamppost almost, but then it comes all the way around. So I was going to try sort of two or three shots, stitch out together and see how that came out. that shot done I've done the bracketing um, I'm trying to find a different angle for it or or just a, a slightly different way to shoot it uh, just away from the norm really uh, unfortunately the light didn't do anything as I was expecting it just clouded over even more uh, which is kind of nice at least we haven't got you know drowned in, uh, in sunshine so it's, it's nice as it is but um, I'm just gonna have a look around now see what else I can find Forward a little way, 
um, just up the rocks. So basically I'm right next to the pool which is in the, in the foreground now. So I'm going to try that shot again where I, um, I'm just going to take the, the main sort of money shot if you like. And then I'm going to try the, the brass thing around in stitching together shot again. So the exposure is the same again, it's um, f11, it's coming in at still one point, sort of 1.6 seconds to 2 seconds, so um, I really don't want to change the, the aperture down to f22, um, I want to keep it um, around about f11. So um, my, my focal length is around about sort of 30mm, uh, which is dx, and my focus is, is going to be literally the rock face as uh, which the waterfall is coming down. I must be getting fitter. I'm not huffing and puffing as much as I was last week, so that's a good thing. Right, I've finished uh, for today. I've, uh, I think I've got all the shots I could have of, of that particular waterfall. Um, the lighting conditions didn't really do as, as exactly as I wanted, but you know, it, it never really does. So, um, but I've still got some shots I think I'm pleased with. So uh, I'm happy about that. If you enjoy these videos, please uh, like and subscribe. And don't forget to ring that bell. Um, that tells you that, uh, that I've released a new video, which is, uh, by the way, every week. Um, if you'd like to leave a comment below, I'd like to know your thoughts on the videos and, uh, and, uh, and anything you'd like to see in the future. So, again, guys, thanks very much for watching, and uh, I'll see you next week. Cheers now. Bye-bye.